I've been doing the carnivore diet for almost a year and a half now. In the first uh, six and a half months, I was able to drop 100 pounds. It just fell off of me. And a lot of people ask how I did and what I ate. I ate steak, usually a chuck steak, um, salted it, pepper, garlic. That's about it. Put, cooked it in some butter. And that's what I ate for the majority of those six and a half months. I've, I've expanded to other cuts of steak, you know, a lot of cheeseburgers now, doing some avocados, a little bit of fruit here and there. But to drop that 100 pounds, 95, 98% of the time, it was steak that I ate. But when people ask for advice on what I ate, they're leaving out one very, 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 probably even more critical part. So what did I drink? Because a lot of people I see trying to do the carnivore diet and say, oh yeah, look, I'm having my uh, Coke Zero. Or I'm having my, uh, you know, I'm putting Mio in my water or all these different whatever, Gatorade Zero or regular Gatorade or Powerade or whatever you want to call it. And what most people don't realize is that 70% of our body is water. So if you're not drinking water, you're doing it wrong. If you're not only drinking water, you're doing it wrong. See, I, ha I gave myself cheat meals to where I'd go out and have myself a big burrito. I'd have tacos and stuff after the first, uh, after the first 50 pounds were gone. I'd incorporate one cheat meal a week. Now, I still kind of do the same, maybe one, maybe two, and I just kind of let myself go overboard on it. Hey, it made me feel good and I got a little bit of taste in my, in my life. Now, the one thing I won't cheat on, the one thing that I won't cheat on at all, is I won't, you'll never see me have a soda, you'll never see me have a Gatorade. The only thing I drink now, and it's really the only thing I drink for a long time, is water. Now, why is that so important? Let me explain to you a couple things, okay? Oh, look, the, the Coke Zero has zero calories, or this one here, look, this is a, a Sprite Zero. Zero sugar, right? But it's... Uh, Let's see what it's got in it. It's uh, carbonated water, less than 2% of citric acid, potassium citrate, blah, 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 let's see where, okay. It's got that aspartame or aspartamine or whatever you want to call it. That stuff's terrible for you. That stuff's absolutely terrible for you. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you why it's so bad and all the other stuff that we drink is really, really bad. This right here, I drink uh, sometimes two three if I'm outside in the summer or whatever and it's really hot, I'll drink four of these a day. I'm already on my second one, okay? And this isn't just any kind of ordinary type of water and let me show you why this has helped me so much. Now you have to understand that there's a lot of things that go into dropping weight. You have to get your body into a, a spot to where it feels comfortable releasing all those stored calories, all that stored fat to where you, know, you don't need it. And there's a lot of reasons why you put on calories. If you're stressed, your body produces cortisol, right? And if you think back to, you know, 10,000 years ago when we were cavemen, our bodies have changed maybe 1%. Our DNA has changed 1% from then. Why were we probably stressed? Probably because we couldn't find food. There wasn't that much for them to worry about, but you know what? Food was a pretty important one. If you're stressed, your body's looking for food, so we're going to put on um, some uh, to-go food. You see, when, when you see people with a big beer belly or you see people with a giant gut, guess what that, that means? A really bad diet, when you're drinking a lot of bad things, you, your body's going to go acidic and it's going to create a barrier fat against all your internal organs saying, hey, you know what, we don't want that acid hidden in the organs because we have to protect it. We're going to put a layer on it. So when you get rid of all the junk that you're eating, when you get rid of all the junk that you're drinking and you go, your body becomes more alkaline, guess what? your body can release that fat a lot more. It, it's not a stress to be able to keep it on. It says, hey, I'm in a state where I can release that and I don't have to protect the internal organs against that acidity. So what I drink now is 100% alkaline water. And that's just one of the things. Now I know some of you have heard of it before, blah, 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 blah. And you, you might be thinking, oh, you know what? When, when, uh, when you drink it, it just goes to your stomach and your stomach acid neutralizes it and it has no effect on you. One, that is completely wrong. Completely wrong. Let me tell you a couple reasons why. One, because most of the time when you're drinking this, 70% um, of it is absorbed actually in your esophagus. Most of it actually doesn't make it to your stomach. And secondly, your body only releases stomach acid when you eat food. So it's not just sitting in there all the time. If you drink water on an empty stomach, guess what? It doesn't release stomach. It doesn't release the stomach acid. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you a wide variety of drinks that we might be drinking. And some of them, you know, you might think this is good for you. You might think. This is good for you. You might think, oh look, this is Gatorade Zero, okay? We're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how bad this stuff is for you 
and why you need to nix it completely. You, if you want to drop weight, if you want to be healthier, don't drink this stuff. Don't do it. Simply just don't do it, okay? We're going to go through and you'll see a visual and this is probably going to blow your mind, okay? All right, right here, I just have a wide variety of drinks that, you know, we all come to know and love and this is something that most people will drink. Just a big variety and we're going to go through with this stuff right here. This is a pH tester, okay? It's something that you can get at a pool supply store, an aquarium store, and I'll tell you the pH of something, okay? I'm gonna put a pH chart somewhere right here so you can kind of follow along and see how bad this stuff is for you. I'm gonna show you why it's so much better for you to be drinking something else. Now, before we get into it, I wanna put a, a little disclaimer, okay? This is something that I've known about since 2010, 2011, okay? It's something that I actually sell. It's how I was able to buy this place. It's how I was able to, um, you know, this is what I've done since I was 18 years old. So me being around this for 13 years, I know just about everything there is to know about it. And two, 13 years later, guess what? It still works. This is something that I will put my stamp on. This is a, this is something that, uh, this is a hill that I will die on because of, I know how good it is for you and the results that it's had for me and for people that I know and the stories that I've heard. So watch this. It's a little disclaimer. I get approached with products all the time. Okay. Probably once a day at this point because of the YouTube channel. Hey Ryan, promote this. Hey Ryan, promote that. Hey, we'll give you a commission if you show off this product here. And I haven't done that. Why? Because it's not something I believe in. This right here, this is something that I believe in. This is something that I know works. So just a little disclaimer, yes, this is something that I do sell, okay? And it's one of the only things that I've brought to the channel because I know it's so good. So we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna show you, okay? I'm gonna do this, try and do this in one take so there can be no, oh, you know what? This is magic, this is whatever, okay? So we're gonna just take some of this stuff here and we're gonna pour it into these, these bottles or in these cups. Okay, just a little bit of it. This represents all soda. It doesn't matter if it's zero, uh, zero calories, Coke zero, Pepsi zero, whatever it is. This represents all soda, orange soda, anything, but we do use clear so you can see the drops. Same thing that goes with the Gatorade. This represents any kind of sports drinks, Powerade, Propel. It's all, it's all the same. If you want to get fancy, this is Pellegrino, okay? This is any kind of sparkling water. All, again, it's all the same, okay? This right here, we'll go on this side now. Um, this is the Sani, everybody knows this. This is Coke's product, okay? This is what Coca-Cola sells for water. Here, Aquafina, so if Coke has one, Pepsi's gotta have one too, so this is Pepsi's product. And we're just gonna put a little bit in here. Now this right here is Nestle, and Nestle actually has a bazillion different brands. Um, you can find Nestle's water all over the place. You can find, if uh, you're on the East Coast, I believe it's called Poland Springs. If you're on the West Coast, it's called Arrowhead. If you're from around here in East Texas, um, it's called Ozarka. So this, and it all is exactly the same. This red cup here represents tap water, okay? And all tap water is regulated to where it all basically has to come out the same. So tap water, it, you know, it doesn't matter what city you're in, okay? And this here is what I drink. Let me show you the difference. So when we take these drops, okay, and we put it, just a few of them, one, two, three, four, five, guess what? You mix it up, and on that pH scale that I have right here, you'll see anything red, orange, yellow, light green, guess what, that's acidic. If it comes out green, it means it's neutral, it's got a pH of seven. Anything above seven is alkaline. We're talking dark green, uh, blue, purple, and real dark purple, okay? So this right here comes out, where does this come out? Slightly acidic, right? How about Aquafina? One, two, three, four, five. Aquafina comes out, look at that. Even a little bit more acidic. Let's look at Nestle's water. Again. Little better, almost neutral, but still slightly acidic. How about your, your fancy Perrier or Pellegrino sparkling waters? Look at that. More and more acidic. So you're putting this stuff in your body thinking it's good for you, but really, in reality, it's not. How about Gatorade? Athletes drink this, right? <laughs> no, they don't. 
one, two, three, four, five. They promote it, they don't put it in their body. Why? Because look at that. It comes out acidic. Soda. You guys can guess. Look at that. Very, very acidic. How about tap water? What does tap water come out at? Look at that. Tap water comes out almost better than all of them. How is that? A couple things. Okay, like I said, tap water is regulated by the government. They put a couple things in it. One, chlorine to kill all the germs, and two, lye, it's spelled L-Y-E, to raise up the pH. Because if they didn't put that in there and the water was going like this, this kind of color, okay, this acidity level, it would rust the pipes very quickly. So they put lye in it. What is lye used in? Is, what is lye used in? Soaps, detergents, uh, rat poison, and it's the main ingredient in meth. Then we drink it, right? So it's very caustic. It raises up the pH so the pipes don't rust so quickly. Let me show you what I drink. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look at that. That is as alkaline as you can get. That is as, as good for you as you can possibly drink. Now, what happens if you're neutral to slightly alkaline and you start drinking this water? You just take a little bit of it, okay? You become alkaline very, very quickly, okay? What happens if your, your, your body's a little bit more acidic like these guys over here? Now, watch this. Don't blink. It tries, but it can't go alkaline. How about Gatorade? Nothing. Okay, we'll do the soda with the, even with the, with the drops in it. Stop drinking this stuff immediately. Try and stop drinking this stuff as fast as you can. Why? Because it's not doing anything for you. You have to pay money for this. You think it's good for you. You know, this is a, this is a reverse osmosis product, okay? So they, they, and that's a bad thing. And people say, oh, look, I got a reverse osmosis machine because I have, you know, it takes out all the parts per million, blah, 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 blah. Okay? It's a, it, it, reverse osmosis is one of the worst waters there is for you because there's studies that show that when you drink reverse osmosis water, there's no minerals, there's no nutrients in it. So when you drink water, your body goes into a mineral searching mode and it starts taking it away from your bones and muscles. A lot of times, especially in women, reverse osmosis water can lead to osteoporosis. Stop drinking this stuff. And you're paying for it. You're paying for this stuff and you think it's, think it's good, okay? This right here, this, you want your body to go alkaline, you want to be able to get rid of the acidity levels that's going on, you want your body to be able to release the, 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 the belly fat, right here. Now, this isn't just the main, this isn't just one thing, okay? There's two more things with this that I want to show you that it's going to blow your mind. And actually, before I do that, I want to show you this right here, because some people might say, oh look, I drink Essentia, right? Or I drink the alkaline waters at the store, okay? Are they actually alkaline? Some of them yes, some of them no, is Essentia. Yeah, it is. Look at that. But there's two different types of alkaline water. Number one, they put you can make alkaline water at your house with just your daily, you know, everyday products. You go take take a scoop of baking soda, put it in regular tap water, mix it up. Guess what? You have alkaline water. Is that going to do anything for you? No. This is they do it. It's a chemical change that they do. They they add stuff into this. Let's see. Let's look. At, let's look at the ingredients. Number one, I didn't know water was supposed to have ingredients. Ingredients. Purified, purified water, the second ingredient, okay, purified water by reverse osmosis, like I talked about earlier. Okay, second thing, sodium bicarbonate, second thing, they put baking soda in this, guess what? You can make alkaline water, is it going to do anything for you? No. This right here, because of how it's done, it goes through an electrical change, and it does, one, it makes it an antioxidant. Especially if you're doing the carnivore diet, that's something that you need to be able to add into your system, is antioxidants, okay? This right here, highest antioxidant you can find on the planet. Where do you find antioxidants from? Vitamin C, antioxidant, okay? When you take a, there's a meter that you can put into like orange juice, it comes in like negative 50. You put it in cod liver oil, it'll go like negative uh, 150-ish, okay? If you can drink a pitcher of cod liver oil a day, you might be doing okay. This right here comes in negative 600, negative 800. The lower the, 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 the number is, it's like a golf score, the more of an antioxidant it is for you. This stuff right here comes in positive three, four, 500. It's 
one of the worst things for you. Why is antioxidants bad? Because when your body oxidizes, it's aging, it's rusting, it's the, um, it's how you get old in layman's terms. And this stuff right here, no antioxidant. How much do they sell this for? They sell this for what, three, four bucks a bottle? You have to get your body weight in ounces in of water a day at minimum. If you want to stay hydrated, you need your, at least your body weight in ounces a day. How much is it going to cost you? You're going to be paying more for water than you will for meat. It's terrible. All right, next thing. Most people, they don't realize, is most people aren't drinking the half their body weight in ounces a day of water. They might have a glass here, a glass there. People might say, oh, you know, the uh, doctor says uh, eight, glasses, eight, eight, eight glasses of water a day is what we're supposed to be drinking. Let's get real about that, okay? Do you think eight glasses of water a day is gonna be the, the exact same amount that you know Shaquille O'Neal needs rather than Peter Dinklage? That doesn't make sense. No, it's half your body weight in ounces. Most people don't get that. They're very, 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 very dehydrated. And what happens when you're dehydrated? A lot of things come from that. It's like, you know what? One of the main causes of headaches is dehydration. You don't drink water, guess what? You get a headache, why? Because your body is, your brain operates on, on electrical impulses, right? It's a bunch of electricity going on. Guess what? When, you know, what's, the, what's one of the best conductors of electricity? Water. So when your brain's hydrated, you don't get a headache. When your brain's dehydrated, that electricity is still going on in your brain, gives you a headache. Very, very simple stuff, okay? Putting it in layman's terms, there's a lot more to it, blah, blah, blah. But when you mix that, you're dehydrated and you mix carbohydrates, okay? Carbohydrates, what happens when you eat a carbohydrate? When you, when you cook rice, guess what? It expands, why? It absorbs water. What happens when uh, you cook pasta? Guess what? It expands. When you, you can use bread to soak up water, why? because it's, it's a, a carbohydrate. It's trying to keep you as hydrated as possible. So when you eat that and you're dehydrated, you're gonna retain more of that and it's harder for it to burn. Let, now let me show you how this water right here hydrates you so much better. And the way that I'm gonna show you that, four glasses, okay? And this is Yamamoto green tea, okay? Yamamoto green tea, it's just any kind of, you can use any, any tea bag if you wanna do this experiment at home just can't have wax on it because then you have to melt the wax in order to, for it to work. So, tea bag, okay? How do you make tea? You take a glass, a tea bag, and some, this is just tap water. Let's see, why aren't we making tea? Because we're missing one ingredient, heat. Because when you heat water, it fractures that water molecule to where it becomes smaller, smaller, and smaller until it eventually turns into steam, right? Well, this is room temperature water, same tea bag, we can make tea. This is cold, this is not hot. Now, when I first saw this for the first time, I, saw, I said I was, very, I was very skeptical. So I said, that's because the tea bag was already wet. Same tea bag, go back to tap water. We're not making tea. My first thought was, okay, because the tea bag's out done making tea, it made tea there. Same tea bag. We're back to making tea. Now, why is this so important? How does this relate to you? Because when, uh, th think of your cell wall as like a chain link fence, okay? If you throw baseballs or tennis balls at that chain link fence, guess what? The, it's gonna bounce off, right? That's why if you go drink one of these, chug it down, and you can feel it, feel it sloshing around your stomach still, right? Well, look, okay? You drink this. Will this make tea? No, it's just like tap water. The molecules are too big. It's, 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 the, it's, it's too big to go through that cell wall. It's too big to fit through the tea bag. Same, same tea bag. Go back to this. Because this water is like throwing marbles or BBs at that same chain link fence. Guess what? It's going to go through and hydrate you on a cellular level. This water will get to your brain in 30 seconds. This water will be able to help you get hydrated enough to where, hey, your body's going to say, hey, I can release those carbohydrates and, and I don't have to stay as hydrated as, I don't have to try and stay hydrated uh, because I'm dehydrated right now. It's able to hydrate you on a cellular level like nothing has ever done so before. And that's why this, this works. So next little experiment, everybody's trying to lose fat, right? And what is a, a way that we can represent fat um, by doing this? It's, what is, what is fat if you heat it up? It turns into 
oil. This right here is some sesame oil. It's thicker oil so you guys can see it, okay? When we pour just a little bit of sesame oil into each of these glasses, watch what happens when you drink regular water because what happens when you mix water and oil, right? Water and oil don't mix. Basic chemistry, we've known that for years. That's, you know, you, you go tell your high school chemistry teacher water and oil don't mix and they'll go, yeah, no kidding, right? So water, I'll do this so you guys can see and it comes out of a, it's clear. Water and oil don't, look at that. What happened? It emulsified the oil. It's able to see, my theory is with this water, it's when your body's ready to release fat, it's able to, you, you, you drink this, and it's able to mix with that fat, mix with that oil, and flush it out of your system much, 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 much quicker. It almost emulsifies, it emulsifies it, and when you, when you pee, when you pee, you can almost see something like that come out. It's really, really weird. It's sitting on the top, and it's like, what is that stuff? It's your body releasing the fat. So when you're able to release that acid, when you're able, so when you're able to release that acid, when you're able to hydrate yourself like on a cellular level, when you're able to put something in your body that's gonna really draw out the fat from you, guess what? It's gonna help you lose weight. This is one of my, this is my biggest cheat code that I use um, to lose all that weight in such a short amount of time. And I know, and I know, I've been drinking this for a long time, but you know, I get off track. You know, sometimes when you come in. After a really long hot day, you want something really cold and you want something bubbly, you want a Gatorade, you want a soda, and you know what, I got off track and that's why, you know, that microwave back there was my best friend. I used, I used to eat a, a box of uh, Jose Olay taquitos, pizza rolls, everything that was, that was just fast because I didn't have time to sit down and eat and I was just hungry and I was thirsty when I came in so I would just grab whatever I wanted, I wanted to make myself feel good and it was a mistake and that's why I put on a whole bunch of weight. And by not doing that, by doing the opposite, by drinking two, three, four of these a day, guess what? But a lot of times you're not hungry. A lot of times you're thirsty. Your body's saying, hey, I need something. I need something. And it might make you think that you're hungry, so you want to eat more. Shoot. If, every time that you get hungry, if, especially if you're, you're trying to do a fast or, every, or if you're trying to do like one meal a day, guess what? Go drink some water. Go, bit, go drink a big glass of water. And uh, then... Tell you, ask yourself if you're hungry. Your body might be saying, hey, I'm actually thirsty. Now you might be saying, oh, Ryan, that's great and all, but how do I get this water? How do I drink this water? Well, you can't find it in the stores. You're not gonna be able to find it in any kind of grocery store. You're not gonna be able to go to a water store and get it. You have to be able to get it at your home. And the way I get mine is out of that little machine right there. That little thing will produce me as much of that alkaline water as, as it will come out of the sink. And it'll keep going and going and going and going. I've had that thing for 13 years now. Best thing that I ever, best investment I ever made. It saved me a ton of money, and it's probably the healthiest thing that I can put in my body. Because if you th because if you think about it, how much are you spending on bottled water? Okay, you can go buy the big 12 pack or the big 32 packs at Costco. Guess what? You have to lug it in. Is it good for you? No. There's a ton of plastic in it, and you have to pay for it. How much is this at the? How much is this now? What uh, it used to be a dollar with inflation and everything is probably what two fifty three dollars. How about this one right here? Three four dollars a pop. And oh, it's alkaline, so it's better for you. But guess what? You're not gonna be able to drink enough of it. And two, it's it's just baking soda water. So if you want to find out how to get as much of this ionized water right out of your house and save you a ton of money and it's the best thing for you, there's a link. I'm gonna put links up here, iCard right now. Click on that, and I'll be able to set you up with somebody. It might even be me that uh, um, can help you get it in your house, and it can get shipped to you this week. Okay, this is something that it's absolutely necessary. If anything, if anything, stay away from the soda, stay away from the sugary stuff. If it says, oh, zero cow, as soon as it says zero cows, get rid of it. Why? Because it means that some, there's something artificial in there, okay? Try and stay away from reverse osmosis water. And after me doing this for 13 years, I have probably helped sell tens of thousands of machines. I only know of two returns, two returns. Can you believe that? Out of tens of thousands, that, that's, that's unheard of, okay? This stuff works. Hit that link down below. The, the slogan of the company is change your water, change your life. Let me help you change your life. Let me help you put you over the edge. This right here, this works. This works. It's the best thing that you can put in your body. And let me help you do that. Click on the link down below and uh, we'll be in contact soon, okay?